Ah. Okay. Can we... Okay. Christian Cervantes. Here. Alex Garcia. Kimberly Garcia. Here. Alex Gutierrez. Alexandria Gutierrez. Here. Uh, Micah Hannigan. Here. Cassandra Hernandez. Here. Kyle Hernandez. Here. Catherine Laura. Here. Aliyah Lee. Here. Stephen McNaughton. Here. Julia Medrano. Here. Jackson Moreno. Here. Camila Moffitt. Laura Punto. Here. Uh, Kevin Quintana. Here. Daniel Ramirez. Here. Noah Reveles. Oh Here. Daniel Reyes. Elizabeth Reyes. Here. Rodriguez. Here. Alexis Romero. Here. Bryson Santos. Here. Kenji Sasaki. Here. Madison Smith. Here. Eduardo Solano. Here. Uh, Mario Soto. Here. Jada Stone. Here. Nikander Trong. Here. All right. Let me recheck to see who is not here. Actually, hang on. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hang on. Rechecking my attendance. Okay, here's our absent Kimberly Cedillo Plata, Camila Moffitt, Daniel Reyes. Are any of those people here? Kimberly, are you here? Camila or uh, Danielle? Okay, so all those people are absent. Kimberly, Camila, and Danielle. Okay, so I'm trying my whiteboard here. I have this whiteboard. So let's see, I'm gonna, I am pinned my, so pin, pin me up so you can see what I'm writing here. If you have trouble, let me know. If you have trouble seeing it, I go in and out. I just needed, I got, I got back issues, my back. Oh, I'm like old, I'm an old, oh, oh, my back. So I got to stand up, right? Standing up, ready to do some, ready to write some math here. So make sure you can see the board. Can you see it? Okay, so name, date, period, start writing it up. As you guys are writing up, hopefully you had a chance to ch look at the weekly agenda. Are there any questions on the weekly agenda? And things we're going to, I think we're mostly going to focus on vertex form and intercept form. Okay. I'll write those in numbers here. So just write those down, the vertex form and the intercept form. And we're just going to be looking at um, um, uh, parabolas and writing equations with them. Right? Parabolas, and writing quadratic equations. Remember, quadratic has to have an x squared in it. Remember this x times x is x squared. Now this is this is factored. We also know this is factored form. I write this as, but the book calls it intercept form. But we know it is factored form. I call it factored. That's what I've always called it. But the book calls it intercept form. But it's also factored form because it shows the x intercepts. So you guys remember that the x intercepts. All right, real quick vertex form. I'm writing this down here. Mario, you cool. Hey, by the way, I just sent your grades and um, I entered the class participation grades. Remember, class part you're showing up to class and you're showing your camera and stuff. So make sure your camera's on. And then um, um, just make sure all your grades are up to date. So if you have questions about your grades, you can check it during class and then you can ask me after class if you'd like. But let's go with your vertex form. Vertex form. Let's write like a number looks like this. So I'm going to do y equals 2 times x minus 3 squared plus 4, right? And if we graph it, like pay super close attention to this. Remember, the vertex form tells us the vertex. So my vertex here would be at 3, 4. I'll get out of the way. I know sometimes doing it on the board, I get in the way. So I'll write it out and then I'll step out, step, step away. 
my vertex is 3, 4. So what the vertex form tells me is that right here at 3, 4 is my parabola. And it looks something like that, right? Rough sketch. But that's what the vertex form tells us. Okay? So what we're going to do today is you're going to be given the graph and you have to write the equation in vertex form. Get it? Right now we have the vertex and we graph the graph. We're going to go backwards. We're going to we're going to have the graph and then write it in vertex form. So anyway, you can see if you have the three, the four, you have half the battle done. The only thing is, how do you figure out the A? That's the only thing. How do you figure out the A? All right? Aaliyah, can you see my board okay? Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the intercept form. Stop me if I'm going too fast. The intercept form. Oh, no, I lost my the, the lid to my pen. The intercept form, okay, with numbers would look something like this. Now, sometimes y equals 2 times x minus 3 times x plus 2. I don't know. I just put those in there. Now, remember, this is the stretch factor, so we're not. I'm not going to focus on that so much. But remember... The intercept form tells us where the x-intercepts are, okay? So if I had this, I, I'm just putting numbers. I just threw numbers in here so you, I think you feel more comfortable with numbers. Like the letters are kind of confusing. But if I was to graph this, right, my x-intercept would be at positive 3 and negative 2. Be something like that. And then you can graph it so it looks like this. But the intercept... Kind of probably something like this. Whoop. Just a rough sketch. But the intercept form tells me where my x-intercepts are. Remember, if this is a positive negative 3, my x-intercept's at positive 3. And if this is x plus 2, my x-intercept is at negative 2. Okay, my x-intercepts are going to be at 3, comma 0 and negative 2, comma 0. Okay, so that's intercept form. And then standard form, I think we know standard form. I guess I should write standard form too, but I, I think those aren't in the books. But standard form, that tells us the y-intercept basically. But I don't know. I think that's good for now. I'll get into, uh, should I show standard form? I'm going to do a quick standard form real quick, okay? So I'm going to erase this in about 10 seconds unless someone needs it. If you're still writing it down, okay? I'm going to erase it in 10 seconds. Anyone need it? Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, the erase is good. Ah, oh, man, this is the thing. I need to get, it's not erasing good. Okay. Not to like push hard on. Oh, my gosh. Okay, the blue doesn't erase so well. So standard form, which you, you should know standard form. Standard form, standard is this. Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C. But it looks like something like this. 2X squared minus 3X plus 7. Something like that. That's standard form. Now, the standard form, I'll, I'll let you write that down. We're used to seeing standard form. Remember, it's a quadratic. got the x squared. It's a quadratic. These are all quadratics. Standard form tells us the x-intercept or the y-intercept. So this would be 7 here. The 7 is where it, it's going to cross the y-axis. the y axis. That's what the standard form tells us. Okay? Not much else. Standard form doesn't tell us much else, but, you know, we use a standard form for the quadratic formula. You guys remember that, the quadratic formula? Quadratic formula. Okay, I think we're ready to do the homework now. As soon as you guys copy that down. If you have all the information you need, well, the basics, the question is, right, 
if you're given any a graph, can you write it in, in standard form? Or if you're given the 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 slope intercept, if you're given a couple of points, can you write it in standard form? If you're given a couple of points, can you put it in vertex form? If you're given a couple of points, can you put it in um, intercept or factored form? All right. Okay, I'm going to erase this in 10 seconds. I'm ready to do some homework. Okay, let me know in 10 seconds. I'm racing 10, 9, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's going. Ah, the blue is so hard to erase. Look at that. And it smells funny, too. That's a, like, double erase, like circular motion erase. Wax on, wax off. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our homework real quick. Remember, the homework is in is in the modules, right? So hopefully you guys get in the modules with okay. me. We're doing 2.7 today, assignment 2.7. Stop me if you need help getting into this. I'm assuming you know how to do it, so maybe that's bad. Okay, uh, the assignment is 3 through 21 odd, right? So let's start with number 3. Read the instructions. In exercise three through eight, write an equation of the parabola in vertex form. Well, look, we have the vertex here. And I'll just go ahead and draw it real quick. I have here, I'm drawing it. So I know you guys can't see what I'm drawing. I'm just drawing the problem. I'm just gonna do a very rough sketch because I'm on my whiteboard. I have here negative two comma six. And I have a point uh, negative one comma three that it goes through, okay? All right, that's all I need to know. Now, the thing about vertex form, where are you guys? Can't find you, where'd you go? Can you guys see me now? Okay. <sighs> Lilia. Can you read, can you, Lilia, are you there? Yes. Can you read my uh, my little graph here, even though that's what was on the problem? Yes. All right, cool. Okay, that's all I need to know. Okay, so we want this in vertex form. So let's write down the vertex form. Ever write this down. We just go y equals a times x minus h squared plus k, where my vertex is 2 comma 6. Okay. Now, here's my question I'm going to ask one of you guys, which you should know, right? Write this in vertex form. Here's my question. I don't think I'm sharing. Uh, let's go with, uh, what is my H and K? Uh, let's go with Aaliyah. What is my H and K? I don't know. Aaliyah, stay with me. Do you remember what do you remember going to HOK? Do you, what do you know anything about H and K, Aaliyah? Aaliyah, don't don't I'm talking to you, Aaliyah. Don't mute your microphone while I'm talking to you. Don't say I don't know and mute. I'm having a conversation. Leah, do you know what H and K is or anything about H and K? We've talked about this. Mm -hmm. What? You don't remember anything? Okay, stay with me, okay? Alex Garcia, tell Leah what the H and K is. Negative two and six. Okay. Yes, that is correct. Aaliyah, what is the H and K? Negative two and six. Very good. Where where did we get that from, Aaliyah? The negative two and six. The vertex. There you go. It's the vertex. So here's how we write down so far. Y equals A times X. Now it's negative 2. It's really going to be minus negative 2 plus 6. Remember, minus negative 2 becomes X plus 2 squared plus 6. There's my H and K. Now we just have to figure out the A. Okay, so remember the A is the stretch factor. 
We're given this point right here. Please pay attention very closely to what I'm doing here, okay? To figure out the A, okay? Um, Bryson, what letter is this? I know it's a weird question, but see if you know what I mean. H. No, that's for the vertex. Oh. Is that X? X, yes, and? Y. Okay, cool. So this is an X and a Y. If I plug this in my X and Y for my equation, this random point on the parabola, I'll be able to solve for the A. Okay, so watch what I do here. Y equals A times, instead of X, I'm sorry, leave the Y blank too. Don't plug in the Y or the X, okay? Leave the Y and the X blank, and we're gonna plug this and this. This for my Y, and this for my X. See how this only the A is left over? Now we can solve for our A, negative two plus one, so we'll say, we'll say here, three equals A, times one squared plus six, right? Negative two plus one is one. One squared is one. And then you don't need the one there. And then I just take away six. Can you guys see that low? I'll write it over here. A equals three minus six, negative three. There's my A. So I solve for that. By the way, it makes sense because look at this problem upside down so i got a negative a so that makes sense at least i know that's correct so my final equation is can i fit it here i'm gonna write it in green here's my final equation final answer y equals negative three times x plus two squared plus six and that is our final answer that's how you do it. So I'll let you write that down. I'm going to quick review what we just did. But we just put the parabola into vertex form equation. We're given the parabola and we're able to write an equation. Uh, what did we do? Had the H and the K, no problem, 2, 6, right? Remember, this is going to be the opposite. You can see why here because it's minus negative 2. 2, 6. Then I just plug in my random point to solve for A, boom, 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 solve for A, plug it in. Raise your hand if that made sense. I don't care if you do virtual or you just stick your hand up in the air. Okay, cool. I see most of you are raising your hand. So I'm gonna get rid of this in 10 seconds. Let me know if you still need it. Five. Four, three, two, one, it's gone. Make sure you say, hey, Sensei, wait, because once it's gone, it's gone on my whiteboard. You have to look it up on the video that we're recording. Okay, that's three, let's see. Are the other ones that hard? Maybe you guys can do the others on your own. Let's see if you guys need to do those. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 okay, so five. Okay, so now I guess we can do five really quick, but it's not on a graph. It just tells you what the vertex is, which would be this point right here. Vertex is three, two, and it passes through 13, eight. So that's your X and your Y. This is your X and your Y right there. And then three, two will be your vertex. Okay, I'll just do five real quick. I'm gonna do five like semi-fast. I don't know if I, I should have you guys do it. But it has a vertex of three, two. Of three comma two. And it passes through, passes 13, eight. Actually, let's do it together. 13 comma eight. And I'm gonna write my equation here. 
y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Okay, got to figure out the h and the k. Okay, here we go. I'm stopping sharing, and you're going to look at what I have here on the board. And here we go. Okay, so I got my vertex. Okay, I mean, you could graph it. You could say, hey, if you want to draw a picture, you could say, hey, right, vertex of 3, 2, and it's going to pass over 13, 8, something like that, right? It's not important. I just kind of sketched it in real quick. It doesn't matter if you can see that or not. I just, hey, 3, 2, this is 3, 2, 13, 8. Okay, here's my question. Uh, let's go with Aaliyah. What is my H and my K? Three and two. Very good. Aaliyah, you're on it. Okay, nice. So we say here, Y equals A times X minus three. Remember, it's the opposite, plus two. Okay, that was pretty straightforward. Let's see if you can tell me what to do next to solve for the A. Jackson, what do I do to solve for the A here? Um, you put 13 for the X and 8 for the Y. 100% correct. Very good. So just go A times, and then so, so I'm going to put uh, 13 for my X and 8. I'm sorry, 13 for my, no, sorry. <laughs> I see what I did wrong there. I switched them. Yeah, you swapped them. Thank you. Whoa, my, my ruler. Okay. Eight for my Y and 13 for my X. And you just solve. You guys solve it. You guys solve it. See what you get. Tell me what you got. I'm going to call on one of you. See what you guys get. What is A equal to? And then what's, and then what's the final equation? Oh, oh, that's a big one. Holy. 100. That's going to be a weird number. Let's see. Oh, that's kind of, is it ugly? It looks ugly. Wait. I think I'm getting a weird answer here. I got I got a weird number, so let's see what you guys got. Uh what do you guys get? Uh let's go with um let's see has their camera off um actually it's hard for me to see let's go with uh mario what'd you get i still haven't finished it how far did you get mario just tell me i uh it's a hard one yeah i just plugged in the numbers and i'm trying to solve yeah but what did you solve for so far what did you get? I got that, but tell me what. It, tell me the mechanics. I plugged in five. I plugged in two. Then I added this or divided by uh, that. I plugged in, plugged in the eight where the y is. Yeah. And, uh, well, I did all that, but tell me you did to solve it. I already did all that. Then thirteen minus three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you doing it right now as we speak? Come on, Mario. You're supposed to have done it. Yeah, Come on, so man. I'll get back to you. Stay there, okay? okay. Noah, tell me how far you've gotten. We're going to get back to Mario. You guys, when I ask you to do this stuff, I would really help. It helps the class to move faster if you do it. If you have questions, you can let me know. I think I finished it. All right. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, I think it's is it 16.6. Oh, you went uh, you went decimal on me. You know, for some reason, I got a negative. 
16.6. So you got 16 and what, one six or something or something. Oh, 16.6 is 16 and five. What is that? I'm not sure what that is. Is you got the decimals? I need the fractions. Okay, but I'll go with that. I think that. Let's see. Wait, I don't think I got that. Let me look. It's point six. That's what I got. Yeah, I got zero point zero six. That sounds more right. Zero point zero six. Okay. But for some reason, well, let me do this. Can you guys see what I'm doing here, Mario? How far have you gotten so far? Uh, I got negative fourteen. Okay. Well, I think I'm having a a brain fart right now because for some reason I'm getting a negative. But let's see. Someone help correct me on this because it shouldn't be negative. It should be positive. Because I have 8 equals 13 minus 3 is 10. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I, I, I divided for it. Okay. I did, my, I did it wrong. Okay, 10 squared is 100A plus 2. I, 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 sort of, I messed up. Okay, what do I do next? Mario, what do I do next? Um, one hundred plus 2. And then... Well, solve for A. You got to solve for A, homie. Yeah. I gotta get rid of the hundred or the two. What do you want to get rid of first? Don't combine them yet, because they're not like terms. Which one do you want to get rid of? The two or the hundred? Give me a give me a guess. The, the, what? The, the one hundred. Yes, get rid of the two. Did you say get rid of two? No, I said one hundred. No, I think you said minus two. Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah. All right, very good. Okay, eight minus two is six equals one hundred A. Okay. And then um Let's see. Olivia, what do I do next? You divide by 100. Divide by 100. And it is 6 over 100, which let's reduce that to 3 fiftieths, I guess. So my answer is A equals 3 over 50. That's not the answer to my question. What's the answer to my question? I just got the A. Ramon, what's my answer? Final answer. Um, y equals... I can't think of the number. I can't think of the number. I'm brain fart. Oh, uh, it happened to me too. But you know what we're asking? Yeah. What am I asking you to do? Uh, give the final answer, the final um, equation. Yeah. So we have this right here. Look here. Ramon, remember this? Yeah. That's, that's almost it. We just need the A, right? No, yes? Yeah. Okay, so what's the A? Was it three and three over fifty? There you go. So we say y equals. Let's see if I can fit it here. Three over fifty times x minus three squared plus two. Sorry, I couldn't fit it out. I'm just running out of room. So this right here is really just the A is three over fifty. So that's the final answer. Make sure you guys get that. Raise your hands. Raise your hand if you got that. So either virtually or in the air. Okay. If you need help, you can stay after class. Are there any questions before I move on? Okay. So that is vertex form. What are we on? I need a seven. Very Seven. So we're skipped. You guys do the, those. You do the rest of those on your own. You guys do the vertex form on your own. Okay. And again, you guys, the answers, I have the answers in the modules too. You can like look at those. Like, where'd they go? 
Where did the answers go? Like you can go and find the like modules, 2.7 self practice. The answers are there to help you. 2.7 practice answer key. Oh, look at that. Free answers. Easy class, right? So you guys can check the answers here. 0.06 is the same as 6 over 100, the same thing. Okay, I guess they like the decimals. So anyway, there's the answers there. Whoa, don't look. Sensei's giving us the answers. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Right, 9 through 14, write an equation of the parabola in intercept form. Remember the intercept form. So let's do 9, and I will draw it as I'm looking at it. By the way, can I erase the board? I know you're not looking at it, but I'm going to erase it in 10 seconds. It's still up here. Someone needs it. 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, I'm erasing it. All right, I'm writing down the information on, what are we doing, 11, I think it was? Was it, yeah, no, 9. We're doing 9. Doing 9. Okay. So I'm just drawing the picture of 9. Uh, we have 3, 4 is the vertex. 3, 4. And here we have the intercepts of uh two zero and four zero so we intercept here at two and four okay two and four i just have a rough sketch that's all we need okay let me get back to my camera and whoop. okay you see me here all right okay Aliyah. Yeah. yeah. I'm calling on you because your camera's off, so make sure you're here. So what do I do here? I wanted an intercept form. Um, my camera's on. I don't think it's working. Okay. Well, I'll just keep... That's fine. Okay. So what do I do for intercept form? For intercept form... Remember what that is? I have it written... I had it, you write it in notes there. Yeah, I have it. Um, okay. It, do I give you the equation? Yeah, go for it. Y equals A, and then parentheses, X minus Q, and then X minus P. All right, X minus Q, minus X minus P. Now, notice that it's negative. So the intercepts for this, I'm going to do it in red, because it's here in red. My intercepts are my X intercepts. That's why I call it intercept form. We're focused on the x-intercepts where it crosses the x-axis. And I can see that my intercepts are 2, 0 and 4, 0. 2, 0, 4, 0. So that means my equation is going to be y equals a times 2. I'm sorry, not 2. Sorry. X minus 2 times X minus 4. If these are positive, these are negative. These are negative, these are positive. Okay, smartest person in the class. If I have the X intercepts, how do I find the A? What do you think, uh, Nikander? What do you think I have to do next? Uh, you have to multiply the x2 with, I mean, uh, x subtract 2 and x subtract 4. Not yet, not yet. It's kind of like what we did last time. Let's see, let's try someone else. This is You don't know it because I haven't told you yet, so it's okay if you don't know, but let's see if someone can figure it out. Uh, let's go with, um, uh, Madison. What do you think we do? Um, I was going to say the same thing Nikander said, but that's not right. Well, hey, remember last time to solve for the A, what did I do? What did I do last time to solve for, for the A, Madison? 
Like, what did we do? We had the everything in the X. We had every. We had the vertex, and what do we do to solve for the A? and y yeah what did you do with them you just plug them in plug it in an, an x and a y right yeah. so is there another x and y that we could possibly plug in as i step aside i want you to look at my board is there an x and y that we could possibly plug in three and four what's that three and four yes the three and the right these we use these for our equation so we don't want to plug these in so now we're going to plug in the vertex because it's just a different point than these two. So x, y, x, y. Wait, Sensei, there's two x's. It doesn't matter if there's two x's. Watch this. Watch. Equals a times x minus 2 times x minus 4. My x, y that I'm going to plug in is going to be 3, 4, the vertex. 3 comma 4. Let's plug that in, which is right here, the 3 comma 4. My y, instead of y, I'm going to put in 4. Instead of x, I'll put in a 3 here, and I'll put in a 3 there, right? Wherever there's an x, you plug in a 3. And then you just solve for a. That's all you got to do. So, oh, no, why don't you guys go and solve it? You guys should be able to do that. Mario, you ready to solve this? I might call on you if I feel like it. Yeah. All right, you rock it, man. <laughs> watch out, watch out, the lasers are coming. <laughs> Watch out. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Bryson, you almost got hit. <gasps> Alexander, look out. Oh my gosh. Duck your head. Oh my gosh. Noah. Focus on I know you're focused on the map, but focus on the stuff around you. The lasers are coming. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Nikander, are you all right? Looks like you got a little burn there. Are you okay, okay Nikander? Okay, Nikander just nodded. So Nikander's good. Woo! Yes. Yeah, all right. Nice. All right. All right, solving for A. You guys ready? All right, Kenji, give it to me. What'd you get? Do you need more time, Kenji? Yeah, sorry. How far have you gotten? Tell me how far, what you've done. I'm not sure if it's right, though. Uh, That's all right. As long as you try. All I care is if you try, right? Give me an app. If you say, I don't know, I, I feel like you don't try. So I don't know. Just give me something you tried so that I'll be happy with that. Four equals A. Oh, so close. I believe it's going to be negative four. Oh. I think it's a negative four. Um, I don't know. Did anyone else get negative four? Let's see. Uh, Olivia, did you get negative four? Yes. Or I, I could be wrong. I might be wrong. Why did I get negative four and Kenji knocking? Kenji, look here. Let's do the parentheses first, right? Yeah. What's that? Three minus two, Kenji. Negative one. Three minus two is positive one. Oh. Wait, wait. Oh. But, oh wait, what did I say? Three minus two, or is it three minus two, and then three minus four? What's three minus four? Negative one. So the one of them's. I think that's why. I think we found your mistake. Maybe right? Did you make them both negative? Yeah. Okay, so one times negative one is negative one a equals four divided by negative one a equals negative four so that's not my final answer what's my final answer okay let's go with um uh let's see alexis romero 
What's my final answer for this question? Um, y equals negative four uh, times x minus two times x minus four. Yes, hang on, I'm writing it here. Messed up. Negative four times x minus two times x minus four. And that's all you've got to do. That is your final answer. So it's the same idea. You plug in your x-intercepts, and then you to solve for a, you plug in your x and your y, and then boom, final answer right there. Make sure you guys do your check your understanding tonight. I'll get all the way here so you guys can see. I'll get out of the way. No, 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 no. I think that one's pretty straightforward. I don't think I need to do any more of those ones. Look, oh. I'm going to get rid of this in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And you want to need it? Okay, it's going. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So they're all the same. Does anyone want, like, I mean... Let me get back to presenting. Do you guys, I mean, those are the same. Does anyone need me to do? I mean, I can if you guys want. Speak up, like, like, because uh, I can't see the chat. Does anyone want me to do any more on, like, 11, 12, 13, or 14 are all the same? Do you want me to do any of those? Or can I move on? You can move on. All right, I got a one move on vote. Does anyone want me to do any of those? Okay. Um, okay, 15. Explain when to use intercept form and when to use vertex form. I don't know. Is that self-explanatory? You don't need me to do that? Let's see. 17. Or any equation of the problem in vertex form or intercept form. Okay, same. it's all the same thing. And then 19 thing here, human jump, 19. Yeah, so same thing. So this one I would do in intercept form. And then I'd plug in this point, right? For the human jump, do x minus 0, x minus 4, OK? And then the error analysis, describe and correct the error in, in writing the equation of the parabola. Let's see, what's their mistake? Let's see, can we see it? Um, what is that? Negative one oh, I, and positive two. What's the mistake? I see it right here. Anyone, anyone, can anyone see it? What's the mistake? Right here, I see it right here. Can I highlight that? It's right, it's this step right here. It's not negative one, it's two, positive two. Yeah, it should be, yes, very good. It should be positive one because this is a negative one, and this should be negative two because it's positive two. That's the mistake. That's it. I think I think it's pretty self-explanatory. So here's the thing. I think we're good. If you guys want me to go over some more, I will. Um, after class, like right now, I'm going to end class. And um, um, and uh Let's see, what do I say? Check out your grades. All the grades are updated. All grades are updated, okay? So go on your grades and see if you feel good about your grade. If you don't, I mean, check it before you go. If you're not, come see me, say, Sensei, why do I have an F, right? Look at your grades. If you don't know how to check your grades, stay after class, okay? Um, otherwise, Jada, can you stay after class? And then anyone else? um go ahead and you may go if you'd like you guys can go have a good one anyone else to stay can bye lilia bye mario bye laura bye stephen bye olivia bye jackson bye madison bye Catherine. bye kyle bye camila bye elizabeth let's see Wait, Jade, I just want to make sure. Did I mark you here? I can't remember. Let me just check, see if you're here. Okay. 
I think we're good. Okay. All right. Never mind. I got you here, Jada. Is everything okay? Is everything cool? Yeah, I get it all. Okay. All right. You can go ahead and go. Okay, bye. All right. See ya. All right, Stephen. Or let's do it with Kenji since you can't. I can't see. Stephen might not even be there because I think Kenji, what's up? No, sorry. Uh, I left without leaving the message. Oh, you didn't say bye. You wanted to say bye. Yeah. You're so you're so kind. That's awesome. Is everything going good for you in this class? Yeah. All right. Cool, man. I'm glad you're like. Are you liking it, or is it kind of kind of like 